Good morning, Blazers. Today is Monday, April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. Now, please stand for the pledge. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to InfoFlow, I'm Soda. And I'm Mackenzie. In the news, the Maryland state minimum wage has been raised to $15 an hour. Get that cash, Blazers. Blazers, are you a dancer? Do you want to perform at football games, basketball games, pep rallies, and competitions? Go out to the Varsity Palms informational meeting on April 11th at 3.30 p.m. in room 119. They hope to see you there. Silver Chips will be hosting a silent auction fundraiser at the Massa Hibachi in Silver Spring on April 8th from 4 to 9 p.m. Go out to, sh to show your support for student journalism, eat great food, and win awesome prizes. And now let's have a look back at our top five winter sports moments. We upset the number one seed in our division, Sherwood, in order to reach the sectional finals. We had really good transition defense and offense, and we also had a lot more chemistry this game. And also we were crashing the boards, rebounding, and um, most of the things just went right for us that game. Um, this is significant to us because we ended up losing to Sherwood earlier this season in overtime. And it was a really intense game. And also, it's significant because, you know, they were the number one seed in our division. What a great way to end the season. And now, let's look at Blair Baseball. Hey, Blazers. I'm Hunter Walterman with this week's Blair Sports Update. On Tuesday, Blair's baseball team took to the field to play their season opener against Quince Orchard. Blair started the game well, taking a one to nothing lead after sophomore Luis Noda hit a double to get himself in scoring position. He was brought home by fellow sophomore Jacob Warren's single to right field. The Blazers also played good defense, getting out of a bases loaded jam in the second and third inning. However, it wouldn't be enough as Blair's pitchers struggled with QO's bats, giving up 14 hits as the Blazers would drop their first game of the season 9-1. I talked with Luis after the game about his hitting and what the Blazers have to do to improve. So, rough game for you guys tonight. Uh, what do you think you need to do better to get a better game next time? Um, I think I just think we need to uh, lower the mental mistakes. Basically, just the mental errors is what's killing us. So. You had a couple of good hits out there today. Uh, you know, what went out there for you? What went right for you to get the bat on the ball? Um, I was just trying to have a quality at bat. Middle up, that's all I was thinking. Just hit the ball. That's all for this week, but I'll be back with more as the season continues. For BNC, I'm Hunter Walterman. Get excited for the spring season, Blazers. Hey, Blazers. Key Club is holding their annual Clash of Classes game on Wednesday, April 10th. The event will be held from 3.30 to 4.45 p.m. in the main gym. Clash of Classes is a fundraiser event that is aimed to raise awareness and money to support the Flint, Michigan's water crisis. For the past five years, Flint, Michigan has been struggling with undrinkable water. The Clash of Classes game is being played between different classes, and the winner is rewarded with a personalized banner that will be on display in, in the third floor of Blair Boulevard. Tickets are sold for $2 each on the day of the event. Awesome raffle prizes will be awarded, so keep your ticket. Food and water will also be sold. Make sure to bring a friend, and they hope to see you there. That's all for today's show. Check out our website, bncaonline.net, to submit announcements, and follow us on Twitter at BNC Blair and on Instagram at bnc.infoflow. And don't forget to submit your creative content to hashtag BlairSilverStream, which will from now on air on Fridays. Have a magnificent Monday, Blazers.